First of all, I would like to state that analytic philosophy is an outcome of Western philosophical thinking, enlightenment, and uh, the reflection upon uh, the state of rationality of our arguments. This is well prepared in the tradition of medieval and late patristic thinking already, insofar as in those times, this way of thinking we call today theology has emerged under the principles and claiming to constitute theology as a science. Scientific theology is ground on, on the one hand, on the belief, but on the other hand, it's a reflection with the principles of rationality, human rationality, and scientific research. That means distinction of arguments. And insofar, theology is internally linked necessarily to rationality, and that builds something like the epistemological bridge among theology today and analytic philosophy in as so far as this approach of analytic philosophy is an attempt of philosophizing uh, according to some basic principles of rationality. I would say even if European continental philosopher theologians today uh, are much more oriented towards, I would say, the tradition of the history of historicist thinking uh, of existentialist uh, philosophers, of hermeneutics. This doesn't stay in opposition to uh, analytic traditions in philosophy itself. Uh, if we stay in theology in a pure hermeneutical way of understanding, we are losing the substance of what is theology about, namely uh, human reflection upon revelation and uh, in the interest uh, to bring forward something like uh, the truth on the sentences of the biblical tradition. And this is uh, the bridge methodologically and epistemologically spoken among analytic methodology and thinking and the core task of theology. Bring theology together with analytic philosophers, and I would say both parts, both groups will learn from each other.